look at a question from paper one, topic three, all about our challenges of an urban world. Um, so this question is asking you to explain two reasons why deindustrialization may occur. Um, so the important part here is about this keyword deindustrialization. Um, so the closing down of industry or factories. This tends to happen in your developed countries across the world. Um, so places such as the UK. So what I've done is I've given you two different reasons why it is that our industry in developed countries might be closing. So if you give this clip a pause, <coughs> have a look through these two different reasons. Have a go explaining why it is that that might be taking place. Thinking about the images on the screen in front of you. OK, you have four uh, minutes for this question. Two minutes on each of your points and their explanation. So if you pause the clip now for me, have a go and we will go for it together. OK, so welcome back. You should have unpaused your clip. So we're just going to go through the first point for you. So the first one is all about outsourcing. So industry being sent to developing or emerging countries. Um, so you can see that here through your kind of trade. Um, you've got industry in countries like India, emerging countries, China. Um, and the reason for that is your second mark, your explanation. So due to cheaper manufacturing costs, due to cheaper um, pay for workers, um, meaning your companies can make more profit. The second reason I focused on is things like in the UK, there has been a growth in education, a growth in tertiary and quaternary jobs that you can see here. This means that primary and secondary jobs are less desirable, meaning that people don't want to work in those industry, creating a lack of workforce. So I'm going to show you the market scheme for this now. So deindustrialization de can be caused by competition from overseas, with it being cheaper to manufacture products in developing or emerging countries. Cheaper labor costs overseas, resulting in an industry relocating overseas or offshore. A growth of tertiary or quaternary industries can lead to jobs in manufacturing becoming less attractive. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.